Good evening. Good Friday day evening. Welcome and welcome to Mrs. Green Thumb. because I was outside and I went to my daughter's. I'll check it out. Um, I'm doing very well today. Nan's private channel. Hi, dear. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Miss Southern Bell. Hi, Jillian. Um, if you haven't been here before, um, I'm showing you my stuff. Elsa, sweetie pie. Fantastic. How would you like to see? How are you doing there, doll? All right. I'm going to show you this. This is what I just freshly picked them. Um, yesterday, I couldn't show this, but I wanted to show you something. Look at the milk that comes out of that when you freshly pick it. If it's a really good milkweed, look at it. It looks just like milk. Fantastic. You can see it looks just like milk. So this little guy's going to love it. And he's right here. He's getting bigger. I don't know whoever was here yesterday. Can you tell that he looks bigger? Like, does he look double the size? He's happy. Oh, that's good for you there, Elsa. Good for you, darling. So anyways, do you see how cute he is? Ah, what do you think? Uh, how's the camera? What do you think, Wen? He looks, look at, all right, look at, he's right here, and you can actually see him much better. Does he look like double in size? Um, I'm going to be switching it out. This is what I want to show you. I don't like this. This is, this um, milkweed starting to turn too light. It, the milk is starting to turn too light, and I don't like the color of it. So I went and picked some new ones for my neighbor. This is fresh milkweed. See, look, you can see it. Yeah, he looks like he's getting, doesn't he? Yeah. And see, look, at you can see that's very sticky. See what milkweed looks like when you crack it open, and if it's fresh milkweed, that's what you should see. This is going to, I'm going to take him out. See, he's going to go over here. You too, honey. Not a problem. You have an awesome day too. So I'm going to make that little guy happy. Because look, at he's getting a big one. He's getting a brand new piece that I'm going to put back in here. And you can see, see that's between him shedding and his, going to the bathroom. See the black dots in here? That's between like when they change every time they, uh, uh, it's, they, they get bigger and bigger. They shed kind of a skin kind of thing. And they also poop a lot because they eat a lot. So, um, yeah, that's what it looks like, the black stuff. So, anyways, I go, I go and change and clean it out, and he gets a brand new. He's going to be very happy, I think, when I give him a brand new one. So, I'm going to dump this out. And, and it's a she. I'm going to call her a she. Uh, I won't give a name yet to her until she becomes a butterfly. When she becomes a butterfly, then she'll be named after my mom. But that's, it's a, I'm calling her a girl. We're going to say she for now. And I'm going to move her over to this big one. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you right how I do this. See, look at, all goes well. You can actually see, see it in here. And I'm going to put her right down there. 
and put the baby back over here and she'll, if you can see it. No, nope, there you go. You can see it now. No, I did it. Nope, I did it. I have to work on finding some more went. Look at how much, see? See how much the, the, it ate? That whole corner is eaten by it, see? And if you remember, it was so tiny, I had to bring it up to the screen. You can see it now. You don't have to go to the screen. It's, it's big enough. Yeah. Hi, Richard. Hello. If you can see, it's... um. When remember I had to go way up here and show you how close look at look at how big he is looks now. When I go that close, you can really see him. So he's doubled in size. Yeah, right? It has grown. It, that she has doubled in size for sure. You can see it because it was tiny when I had to bring it up really close. And you can see it all the way down here now, really good. So yeah. Just bring you on my adventure. This time I'll bring you on the adventure. Try to once a day or every second day to show you what it looks like, all the changes that it's going through. I am. I am, Richard. I'm just educating people. Oh, gosh, definitely grown, yeah. Um, and actually, you can see the colors even better. Look at, you can really, if I bring you in close, um, not see, it's not giving it justice, but you can really see the colors in it, too. For me, I can. On the green, it's hard to see it, but... Um, yeah, isn't it cool? That's my baby, Richard. You remember? Um, that's my baby. And you can see the head. Tomorrow, it should be doubled in size as long as everything goes well and I keep good care of it. And it's got nice milkweed to get fat on. Should it? Um, I'm hoping it's going to switch over here, but sometimes i got to coax it into switching it over. So I kind of like, like I showed you yesterday, kind of like, um, like that and get them to nicely, gently. Come on. No, oh, he likes this one. There you go. Come on. You're going to like the bigger one. Trust me. You're going to like it. Look. There, now I just clean the bed. It's nice and clean. And um, there he is. He's checking it out. You can lead a horse to water. <laughs> That's, uh, he, he, she, we're going to call it she, Richard. Hopefully it's a girl. She, we'll say she. Yeah. She, he, she is a cute little bugger. He's cute, see? see? She is cute, calling her she. It'll, oh, it'll be always the same color. Would you say, wonder what color it'll be? Same color always. Hey, newfound. It'll be always the same color, Wendy, because they, they are monarchs are, are the same color. They don't, they're not different colors. Always the same color, monarch. You'll see. They don't, they, their colors aren't much different in color. They're same like brown with the, the veins inside of it. Oh, poor little thing. She's kind of camera shy. No, she, she actually's not. I hope she's going to be okay because she doesn't hide. The ones I've had before, they hide. She do doesn't hide. She stays still and just eats, and I don't see her running away. She's fine. And you can see how much she's moving, too. Look, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, never different colors. Monarchs, you'll get to see. My, I'm happy, and thank you, by the way, all you guys coming to join me. Uh, this means a lot to me because to educate on this is going to be amazing. You're going to see the changes almost every single day. This will change. And you'll see the colors. Oh, my it's wink. Yeah. The only thing is a male has uh, thinner 
veins and two, two, um, yeah, look at it. It's like munching away. It's looking for another bite. You can see it. Yeah, you're playing with words. I got gotcha. you. Hello, Ronald. Ronald C Crimson. How are you doing? Kristen. Ronald Crimson. Hi. Hey, Barker. This is so cool. Um, thank you. Hi, Miss Canadian Scrapper. Yes, just like you do your bees, which I'm impressed with. This is educating on monarch butterflies and how to treat them. And, and if you want to take the responsibility, how to do it. I'm fantastic. So I want to show you guys live streaming all the time, how this will get bigger, how it'll change until it transforms into a butterfly. Uh, my goal. And I want to get some more actually, but uh, it's kind of cool, right? Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Ronald. Uh, and thank you, Miss Gardner. I care Gardner for coming and Miss Canadian Scrapper. Hi. So that is what I do every year um, for the last two years is raise monarch butterflies. And I will even show you the one we we're talking about. If I find one in my lettuce patch, I'll show you the difference between this and the other one. Look at that. Go away. Is that cool? It's like. What I like about my computer is the camera's excellent because look at that thing is not that big and you literally can see it moving around on the screen, which is amazing, right? And all I got it is in a plastic bowl, um, which I'm going to come up with a better process than this because we were talking, I was talking to other people that, that raise them and uh, I want to do something different. But right now, this is all I know how to do. You put it in a bowl, make sure you change the leaves and it's nice and fresh. It has, the leaves are fresh. You can see that by the colors. When the milk starts to drain out, the colors start to change. This is not bad, but you can see the leaves start to go a light green and it's drying out. You need to give it, so, you got to get fresh stuff for it because it's, it, there. Oh, see, look at, this is really cute. It's nibbling on the edge. Look, can you see it? It's nibbling on the edge. Oh, it's finding the fresher one. Look, it's going, this little, This little Megan, <laughs> it's not a Megan. It's cuter than that, Richard. You're funny though, Megan. <laughs> I guess it is. It's not much bigger than a Megan, but look at it. It's a Megan. <laughs> It, it can smell that. I think it smells the, the fresh one. Look, it's going to the, that's exactly what I wanted it to do. I want it to go to the new leaf. Um, <laughs> it is. Hi, I want to hide. No, I don't know if it's, it's not shy. Some of them are actually, it's, I, I wish I had a whole bunch of them to show you the difference. Uh, greenest thumbs. How is you? <laughs> greenest thumbs. How is you? I'm fantastic, David. Thanks for coming. Doing my regular update on my baby. And hopefully I'll get some more because I really want to show you. They each have their own little distinct personality too. This one's not shy. The other ones, if they see it, they some of them are skittish and they'll hide under the leaves. You won't even find them because they don't like they don't like you noticing them. So this one's not shy at all. It's right on the top. It's wiggly and it, it's white and wiggly. It's a mag. It's, it's not white. It's actually not white at all. I wish I could show you. There's, I gotta hide it though. I don't know why I blocked it, but. Maybe because it's, you didn't say anything wrong, Richard. Sorry. Just taking it off, but you didn't say anything wrong. Um, it's funny, actually. You're very funny today. I'm telling you, it's not. It's black and green. You just, it's not, it's not white at all. Let's see if I can show you even better. Can you see? It's not white. Look. That's black lines and green. It's black and green. It's not white at all. Look at it. Use this welcomist. Thank you. Don't know, but I'm calling it a girl. It's, we're calling it a she because I want to, if it's a girl, I'm, I'm going to name it after my mom, no matter whether it's a girl or boy. You won't be able to tell until it becomes a butterfly, and then I'll show you. Um. 
You should, <laughs> you should play baby music. Hi, corn girl. rock a bye baby, on the tree top. When the bow breaks. Anyways, um, yeah, look at, look at. I hope you enjoy the love that I'm doing and showing you in this. They're not harmful. They don't hurt you. They're pretty tiny. And if you're not careful, you could kill them off real easy because that's how little they are. You can actually kill it just by pinching a leaf and your finger in the wrong way on milkweed. See? Baby. Just a baby. You could you could miss this. And, and Wendy knows. Whoever was here yesterday knows this is doubled in its size. It was it was half the size yesterday. It's twice. It's keep eating. And it's twice the size today. You guys are going to be the family, and you got to take care of it with me. That's what I'll call it. That's the baby of the family, and we have to take care of this little thing. Look at the head. Should be, yeah, when? It should be. Every day should be bigger. It's going to be. I'll come on and show you. I, I don't know I, if I stay. An hour is probably plenty to come and show you, but yeah. Oh, probably. I would think it. But it's not scared of me at all. There's ones that are very skittish and they hide right under the leaves. I left this all night and it stayed on top of the leaves. It's this is not skittish. Maybe this one's a boy. We're gonna find this could be a boy one because the other ones that I've had were girls and they were always hiding under trees. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Be quiet, or you might be eaten by a bird <laughs> in the sky. That's gross. <laughs> what do you feed it? You are not paying attention. You failed the class. Back of the class, Miss Southern Bell. Back of the class. You failed. What am I going to do with you, Miss Southern Bell? Did you miss part of the class? They only eat milkweed. They're born on milkweed. They're laid on milkweed. You know, I'm kidding with you. I love you, Miss Southern Bell. I'm just being being funny. Um, they're born on milkweed. And I just showed a, a fresh. This is a fresh leaf. I just went and got it from my neighbor's yard. See what the, the weed look like, the milk look like? Um, yeah. Wait, let me switch it over here. This is milkweed. See? Look at, they all pass it. Milkweed. When he passed the test, well, squash that little. Oh, you. Oh, happy gardener. No. One minute, somebody wants to eat it, and one was squashing it. Uh, legalized milkweed. <laughs> yeah, it's legalized milkweed. That's what it looks like, though. When you crack it open, if it's good. <laughs> uh, Belle got CRS. She cannot remember stuff. Aw. Miss Sunder got Belle got CRS. <laughs> Reminds me, I forgot to get milk today in the store. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, see, look, it, it's got the milk, and I cracked the one, and it's going to be having a nice little dinner. And I threw all the other stuff out and um, went and got fresh one. I'm good. You don't have to give it fresh every day, but I take care of them. I want to make sure it's nice and healthy. I'm passing around milkweed. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Look at the baby. Oh, this little girl is raised on weed. <laughs> ah, this little girl is raised on weed. Drop new hippie in the making. She'll be flying too. Hey, butterfly, want to hit this? Hit what? So my daughter raised a black swallow. Yep, actually, you're, I know somebody else. Another garden channel did. Um, another channel, my 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 uh, friend Dave, another garden channel raised. He raised that one too, a black swallow tail. He did it on a video and everything like that. And I was going to do it on a video, but I think this is more interesting. Yeah, they, they don't turn into chrysalis. They turn into cocoons that I know of. They're brown, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is a chrysalis. But it's brown. It looks just like a cocoon. Yeah. Oh, you did left it in uh, left it in on her bookcase shelf all winter long. Wow, shouldn't take that long. Um, we're having a milkweed. We're having a milkweed, a milkweed party. We're passing around the milkweed, so I'm hoping you're all happy. Hey, Kristen's in the town. Hi. Kristen, so you guys, when you see me at night, um, hi, oh my goodness, hey, dear, that is interesting, thank you, uh, what color do you think it will be, you and, you, you gotta go to the class again, you and Wendy, um, Wendy, what's the answer to that, 
<laughs> what color do you think it'll be? Um, Wendy, where are you? You need to tell Miss Southern Belle what color will it be? Right, well, time to stuff my face with pizza. Good, yummy for you, oh happy gardener. Yum. Thank you. Um, hello, the, the artist devil. How are you doing? Happy gardening. I will. I will happy gardening to morning shows or gardening. Afternoon shows when I come on is about all about this baby to educate people about this one until I get I hope I get some more though. I'm you know I'm in my glory when I do this. This is like I'm a proud mama again. Um <laughs> Did you say brown and something else? Ah, you may, may want to check your uh, Mick port there. Some interference I can hear. Oh, yeah? What are you hearing? Can anybody, can you guys hear me fine? A butter, a monarch butterfly is a butterfly. It's the same color. They, they don't change colors. There's no different in a monarch butterfly. That's what I tried to tell Wendy, too. They, you guys definitely need to, I want you to pass the class. So you're going to have to come and check the class out. So to see live for yourself. They're always the same color. I need some candy and coffee. They're all butterflies, mon monarch butterflies are always the same color. And they, they're, when you see them, they're full size, nice and big. They're not like tiny little butterflies. That's a different butterfly. <laughs> Imagine being raised by Mrs. Bezos. What do you think? I'm going to beat them all up? They all the same color. Actually, the male is orange and the female is not really drop. Not really. Um, I had them. They look, the, you can say that, but they look very the same color. You can, it's, it's not that much difference at all. Well, I, well, gee, I remember the zine. You got it. No, two critical so it, it looks like cracking noise as you, oh yeah? They're not white as a black, no, they're not. They're green. I can see it with my own eyes. That's not white. It's green. It is green. It's not white. I can tell you, my eyes see green. That is not green. They're the same size and the same color when they get bigger. This is not white. Uh-uh. I did it two, three years in a row. White. Morph of the monarch in Hawaii and called white monarch. Not here, not this one. You talk about white monarch. Um, it's cool if there's a white monarch, but not this kind. This stays the same. It's green and black stripes. There might be a touch of white in it. It's the same. I have done it two years in a row. So this is my third year. All that wait until you see, you'll see the colors up later. There might be a line of white, but it's green black and white, and if you, you go and check it out what they look like, they look the same right now at this size as they do full grown. Um, I wish I could show you, but I can't on here. Um, actually, I well, here, let me see if I grab something here. Um, God, there's got all kinds of butterflies. And, and actually, the swallowtail looks very close to a monarch um, one. Very close, except it's got dots. See if I can find it. Hmm. Well, if you look it up, ah, there's one. That's that's more like they, they look like they look like lines. There is white in it. it's black, white, and yellow, yellowy green. Is what it looks like. Um. Here's another one that looks good, but the swallowtail looks just so close to it, only it has dots on it. I found that really interesting when I learned that last year. I wonder if I could throw it out there. Hmm. Okay, maybe this would be a good link. What it looks like. That's caterpillar that walks around and gets those creative juices flowing. Okay, this. See that? It doesn't say monarch though. Oh, because it's a different color. That's why. It's a different kind of caterpillar. That's why. Uh, hello, Creative Crochet. Hey, hello, welcome. My Curious Life, hello. Um, stop touching the baby. I'm not touching a baby. Listen to you. But it's cute, and I did that a lot. Look. It wants to sleep. No, it's eating. Let me see if it's sleeping or eating. 
They always eat. They eat and poop. That's what they do. Eat, poop, eat, poop. Eat, poop, eat, poop. He said, I'm still watching um, uh, my curious life. So welcome to everybody. Hello. Creative, creatively created crochet. Hey there. Um, Miss Southern Bell. I have to, I'll check you out after, though. I'll go check what you did later on. Thank you, though. I have this feeling it's you did something to do with what I sent you. All right. All um, right. It's cute, eh? My little baby. You have to come and check it out. You can all be, you can all be parents. No, you can't be parents. You can be aunts and uncles too. Wendy, Aunt Wendy, um, <laughs> you're all gonna be Uncle Rafael. Is the second live you joined today, Uncle Rafael? You're gonna be all Uncle Richard. Your aunts and uncles to this little thing. There you go. Did you did you ever think you'd be an aunt and uncle to a butterfly? <laughs> I'm gonna call you Aunt Wendy. Let's check on the baby today. Uh, it gets no name until I know it's turned into a butterfly, and it's fine. Uh, uncle Drop, can we play with my chicken children? <laughs> yes. Okay. What is said plant? What is the kind of plant? That's milkweed, which which uh, monarch butterfly is raised on. That's the only thing that they're laid on milkweed, a monarch butterfly. Okay, that particular kind only lays its eggs. Eat poop. It's being raised in a garden cooking gel. <laughs> yeah, garden cooking gel. Can't claim it now. <laughs> he's so cute. She, she, or he? He's so cute. They will eat. Just eat him up. Oh, that's. I don't know if that's gross, but can we go? She. Oh, thanks. Christian posted the link where I raised the first one. Um, I That's the first video I did. I did this two years ago. I raised it. That was my very first video. Oh, I feel honored. Do I need to buy? <laughs> I think you should buy me a plant. Everybody should send me seeds for milkweed in honor of the baby so I can have more babies. That's it. You can send me milkweed seeds or a plant. Well, I'll probably kill the seeds. I am not having luck with seeds. So I bought two plants. I need to generate a whole bunch of plants so I could get more of these little babies. Uh, my future is in it. That's why I'm doing this for you guys. Oh, you planted three moon plants? That's cool. I don't. Do I really know what a moon plant is? I'm not sure. Are monarchs immune from cooties? No. David, they can die at this point. I got to be careful. That is nothing. I had it. I had it. Um, God. The one of them was about this size and it died. Um, like that size. It was this size. It couldn't shed its skin right and it died. Um, so that is nothing. I got a long way to go till the aunt and uncles can say, yes, bon voyage, baby. Uh. <laughs> Uncle Rich has a nice ring to it, even if it's a bag. It's a cute little caterpillar. It's cute. Okay, all cool as far as I'm uncle. Okay, Uncle David, Uncle Rafael, Aunt Christian. Kristen, um, you got all these aunts and uncles. Look at, aren't you lucky? Aunt Wendy, look at Aunt Wendy. Aunt Wendy's crafty. Can you make the butterfly an outfit? Wendy, you're pretty crafty. Maybe you could sew the, the little guy or girl. Um a little outfit. What do you think? It stopped eating though. It's not eating now. It's taking a break. It's having a little snooze. Just name me the Godfather. <laughs> you want to be named the Godfather? Off the uh, the Godfather. I have to think about it. I have to see who who's deserving of the Godfather. Yeah, that's funny. I know I'm naming it after my mother. So if everything goes well, it's going to be called Claire. Um, either a boy named Claire or a girl named Claire, whatever the sex of the butterfly is, that's the name of it, or um, releasing it for my mother's name. So 
Um, if you chop up the leaves, uh, or can you make milk <laughs> go to feed them? No. Are you kidding with me? If you chop up the leaves, add water. Can you make milkweed go to feed them? Nope. No, nope, that doesn't work that way. Not doesn't work that way. No, 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 David. Oh, thanks. No, they no, sorry, honey. They only eat milkweed. That's it. Growing up as a baby. That's why I'm here. I'm glad I'm showing you guys. This, this is all you have to do. You just have to keep them happy and fed. And change out the leaves every so often. Um, once they start drying out, you got to get new leaves and clean up their little container, and that's it. And then I'll show you the next stage after it gets big enough. But um, it's got a little ways to go. Well, wait till you see tomorrow. Like I showed Wendy already. Wendy's my witness because she was here yesterday. Um, and thank you for sharing me out. His name is Sue. Do they poop a lot? They shed and they poop a lot. Oh, yeah, I showed Wendy already in the beginning, Miss Southernbell. I'll show you tomorrow, and it's it's going to get gross. But it is what it is. They shed their skin like they get black as they change sizes. They get this black stuff all over them. And so the black comes off, and they poop a lot because they're eating. So they eat and poop and eat and poop, but they also shed this black casing over top of them, um, which you'll see. And Wendy, if you're there, doll, can you tell them how it grew? Oh, okay. Thanks, Drop. Thanks, Drop. Catch you later, Nana. I'm putting a shed together. Cool. All right. See you later, Drop. Thanks for coming. Johnny Cat says his name is Sue. Um, they grow pretty fast. Does their poop stink? No, their poop doesn't stink. It's kind of like rock hard. Listen, her. I like the questions you ask me. It does, it does not stink at all. Unless you have a really good nose, I don't smell it. And I do. I have a soup. I'm a, like a bionic nose person. I leave your video running so you get the watch. Thanks, Drop. I appreciate that. I could use all the help I can. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Hi, um, Diane. Hi, Diane. Happy Friday to you too, Diane. And happy Friday to everybody. And hi, Dylan. They're a beautiful butterfly. Yeah. So, Wendy, would you, you can you tell them, like, sorry, I have to put you on the spot, Wen. Aunt Wendy, um, can you use their poop? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's so funny. There's not that much poop, so I don't know, Miss Sutherland, but that's very funny. Um, yes, Aunt Wendy, um, did it not double in size since yesterday, right? So, Aunt Wendy, that's what we need to tell the people. If I ask you a question, I know that you were a witness to me yesterday. And it's about double the size of yesterday because it was even smaller. I'd imagine it's not such a small. Yeah, probably not. I don't think there's enough fertilizer because it wait until you see it's not. It's It gets bigger, but it's not that much. Yes, it has. has it's, it's bigger today. Okay. So, tomorrow, we'll see. I just let it do its thing, and if I come on tomorrow, tomorrow, um, I'll show you. I'll show you each day or every second day. If I can't make a live stream at night, um, I'll show you because uh, this is my thing at night. <laughs> One, two, poop to my Lou. You're so funny, David. Uncle David, don't listen to Uncle David. I'm going to start talking to it, and the thing's going to realize. Actually, I do believe that they can hear you, too, at this point, and as soon, wait until you see in a chrysalis. I was talking to it. They can hear you as it, it transforms into a butterfly. Um, it's kind of cool. And you can actually talk to it. Um, and it pretty well, I'm pretty sure it hears you. I mean, not, not that it understands what I'm saying, but I still think it has it has sound. It can hear you. So it's kind of cool. I just find it amazing that when it goes into chrysalis, it's really, if I can catch it on a stream, you're going to love it. I wonder if their poop has anything in it healthy. Well, I don't know because remember the leaves are poisonous, Miss Southern Bell, to most critters. I found out rabbits can eat them, I guess, and deer. And it's a very bad taste. Most animals can't eat it. It's poisonous. What's, what's, is that a loud sound? Play some Vivaldi. What is Vivaldi? Is it like a really loud so Miss Southern Bell is right on the poop thing. I, you know what? I'm going to bake mail her next video. Wait until you see it, coin girl. Um, since she wants to, she wants to know 
compo you know what? Oh, it's a composter. That's cool. Like they do with babies, right? Uh, corn girl. I think that I'm going to save up the poop. Yeah, I'm going to save up the poop and mail it to Miss Southern Bell. So the next gift I give her in the mail will be, she can judge for herself if she likes the poop and if it smells good. <laughs> right? Should Coin girl, should I save it all together and then I'll just mail her the poop? And and that's the next package is going to Miss Southern Bell, a poop package. And then she can tell you all about what she thinks of, of uh, monarch butterfly poop. Wouldn't that be cool? That's what I'm going to say. Wouldn't that be funny? I poop you. I know, way. Eh? Oh, Mrs. Green, some four seasons of Vivaldi. I don't know. Wouldn't that be interesting? Classical music. I don't know. That would be different. <laughs> There's a copy that has poop in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got, wait till she's gonna get grossed out when it when it gets bigger. And wait till you see it. the The stuff is really big. It's like big nuggets in it. Poop happens. <laughs> it does. Everybody poops, even all of us eat and poop. But what a conversation to have. But hey, what the heck? It's all about poop today. Wait, I'll say that's going to be a great unboxing. Look what I got caterpillar poop. Let's check it out. I think I should, though. Ah, wouldn't that be funny? I said, Miss Southern Bell will never talk to me again, but um, I love her, and, and she'll accept that it's funny. She's funny herself, so since she, she keeps asking about the poop, I might as well send her a big box of it. Well, it's not that much. It'll fit in one of those, maybe the little tiny um, nerd boxes. Yeah, I think if I kept all the poop, it'll be about the size of a nerd box. Yeah, something like that. So I'll package it up, send her a nerd box. I love poop scooper. <laughs> a little poop scooper I will send you. Hey, no problem. You can send me the little, it has to be a really tiny one though, because it's not that much stuff to put in the box. So she'll send me a little pooper scooper deal. That'd be great. I think it's taking a nap now. Oh, what's it? Forget, forget Vivaldi. It's up to T. Shock. Wait a minute, Tchaikovsky. Is that Tchaikovsky? Yeah, Tchaikovsky's music. I got to, I, I got to play it really classical music, right? Just like you would a baby. You're supposed to do that. My internet fails. Was out for a few. Pretty sure I missed something. I come back. Mrs. is laughing, and we're talking about poop. I missed out. No, you didn't. I'm going to. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky, right? It's spelled wrong, Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky. I know that is a classical composer. I'm blown away talking with strangers across the world about crap. <laughs> no wonder you're saying <laughs> ah, David, David, maybe you <laughs> I don't know what else to say. David's single because he's in the wrong spot. Yes, that's it, David. And and actually, Richard, what you missed was, it seems to me, Miss Southern Bell is very curious about um, um, a poop of a butterfly, a monarch butterfly, and all about poop. So I told her I'd package it up and send her in a little nerd box, all the poop, and then she can tell me what she thinks of all the poop. Mini Cooper Trooper, hello, thank you. Thank you for sharing me out there. I know that's from you, Southern Bell, Miss Southern Bell, my doll. Thank you for sharing me out. Glad I made you laugh. Me too. I hope you're laughing at all this conversation, Uncle David. So now you're all uncles and, and aunts when I bring this out. Yep, Uncle, um, Uncle Miss Southern Bell, or Aunt Miss Southern Bell, Aunt Sheila, uh, Uncle Rafael, Uncle David, Uncle Richard, Uncle. Aunt Wendy, I can't get my uncles and aunts ready. Oh, my God. And Minnie, would you like to be 
Mini Cooper Trooper. You know, you're young. You could be a, a young uncle to, ta-da, right here. There, you're all aunts and uncles to this little baby right here. Let's wish her well. And a one big happy poop family. Yeah, that's it. It is. That's my little baby. And you know what I do? I just check on it. I put the lid. I just go like this. That's all I do. I put it here. I keep an eye on it. I put the lid on it. Go to bed. And I put it to bed. And I keep an eye on it. Um, I'll look every so many hours and see. Yep, it's doing fine. And then overnight, I just leave the lid on it. And uh, come up. And it's been eating a lot of leaves. But right now, I'm just going to give it a bunch of air because it deserves that. Got to go. Yeah, no problem. Have fun. It's so late here. Yeah, see you later, Wen. Um, no problem. I understand. Have a good night. Thank you for coming. Yeah, that's enough oxygen. Look how tiny she is. Look at how tiny she is. Uh, I This is actually, I put it in a smaller container the last time, and there was three of them in it. And I'm going to get a better thing later on. Right now, I, this is what I know what works. And but later on, somebody's talking to me about I could kind of stand up the leaves, and you could have um, kind of a uh, not netting, but um, oh, I, something where it could breathe better. And I'm going to work on that better. But right now, I know this works, and it's safe. And, and if I find something better to show you, but three, two years doing it, it works. It's got enough oxygen. It's very little. Even when it becomes this big. That container still has plenty of oxygen because I used even a smaller container than this the last two years. I put it, I don't have one to show you what I actually put it in. Well, I think I do. I'll show you what I put it in. I guess it might be about the same size. We'll see. Right here. Oh, it was square. This is what I put them in for the last two years. This was the container I put them in right here. So I don't know. Do you think this one's bigger than that one? I don't have the lid for that. That's why I put it in there. Just going to have a quick chat, then I'm going. It's very late in the UK, I bet. Yeah, that's why my friend Wendy left, because she's saying goodnight, because it's very late in the UK. Um, what do you got? They made monster movies about Ainsworth, and what about Attack of the Monster? No! Because people would kill them. No! Hey, by the way, look at... I want to show you how I save eggshells. See? I just dry them up in here, and then I'll put them in the coffee grinder, and then that's calcium for all your plants, especially um, tomatoes, which take a lot. They suck a lot of um, calcium. Out of the soil, there's my eggplants. Or my eggplants, my eggshells. Um, that's what I'm going to say. So, would you say square is better? Oh, you like this one size better? Yeah, square is better. Yeah, I think Wendy lives in, Yeah, she does. She's from the UK too, Minnie. No, you can't. No, you can't. Don't even put holes on the top. No, 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 no. They will crawl out of a container. No, you don't. And not only that, spider mites get in it and kill them at that size. They kill the eggs. They kill them when they're babies. No, you can't have any holes in them. Trust me. Right now, I'm not doing it that way. When I, when I find something better, I'll tell you. But uh, this is it. And they're fine. They live right with the leaves. I'll put this one in the fridge. And if it's no good, I'll go and get some more. I'll keep them. Actually, I could put a paper towel in there to keep them wet if I wanted to. Oh, you're surprised you're not tired? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, David, I... David, I love you, but you don't watch my videos, do you? This is the top. I don't have the show. Look at. Let me show you stuff since I got the camera open. Right? This is eggshells. That's calcium. I did a whole video on the stuff I actually use. Watch this. You ready? Let's see what I got down here to show you. I don't have all the stuff because I, I don't have any to show you, but what it this. What do you think that is? What is this, guys? Oh, 
I wouldn't put holes in it. Rafael. I'm not going to, somebody came in here giving me advice on reading on the internet. I, I get, I know I speak on behalf of actually doing it. I would not put holes in it. Nope. Even though you'd want to do that and you could do it at home, but I won't do it because I'm telling you that they, they, they easily die at that stage and anything kill them off. So I will not do that. Uh, moonshine. You want me to give it moonshine? Oh, what is it? Moonshine? Yes. What is this? Come on. I haven't taken time to. Uh, you need to peruse my library. Look, what is that? Anybody? Come on. There's garden channels in here. I know there is. What is that? I think Wendy's gone. Um, uh, that, okay, that's what I would, and you will do as you think. Oh, I know. I, I'm not giving it. No, I know you're not giving it. I'm not giving it. Just what I. Yeah. No, that's okay. Citric acid eggshells look, eggshells look alike. No, this one. Oh, there's a delay. And I know you're not giving me, we're probably going to, that, um, you don't know what that is? Um, I wish I could show you other things, but I don't have anything right now to show you. I think I froze them. Sugar. No, no, no sugar. Yes, that's it. All your bits Yes, that's it. It's Epsom salt. Epsom salt has magnesium. Good. You win. Hi. Hi. Vegan. You win. Rafael, good one. It's Epsom salt. And I use that in the garden too. I don't have all the stuff I use. I use this. I use eggshells. I take bananas. I've been throwing them directly in the garden and they're fine. But I take bananas. That's potassium. Dry it out. Grind it in a coffee maker. Yeah, you win. Yay, you win. That's Epsom salt. Epsom salt, magnesium. Eggshells, calcium. Banana peels and potato peels, potassium. Um, what else can I tell you? And vegan, welcome back. And we're talking about my little baby. Put him to sleep pretty soon. Uh, I think that's the stuff that Mrs. uses to get rid of trolls. Yeah, Epsom salt is different than salt. Epsom salt has magnesium. It's a healthier salt for garden. Actually, I, the right salt, and it's you can use it for your baths. It's good for mu muscle pains and everything too, magnesium. Um, but the one in the garden, I went to get some, and one had a scent. I wouldn't, and so I got, you can't use the one with the scent for a garden. It had lavender or something. This is plain. It has no smell. It's just plain salt. I never seen a butter. You you won't. This this is my baby, and remember that's another thing. I have three cats in the house. Cats will eat these. Cats will eat these. You know, so you have to be careful. Cats, mice, spider bugs. At this point, lots of things will eat this. That's why you need a lid on it. That's why right now someone's talking about netting, but I still don't trust that either. Uh, a fine netting would work. Not at this age. I think it's too little. But hey, I'm a mama. Yeah, cats will eat these, but I'm lucky that the way I kind of like have the lid on it, they don't bug it. And um, I left it in my kitchen. Not to I keep it right near me to keep an eye on it. But I think maybe tonight I'll put it in the bedroom because no, the, the cats don't go in one of the rooms and I shove it there and it'll be fine. Yeah, it's quite comfortable. No eating our daughter. Yeah, that's it, our daughter. That's your niece. Yeah. So I thought that's a lot of fun, you guys. Thank you for joining me. I, I'm just going to make it an equal hour. Hit the like button. Hit the like button, guys and dolls. Thank you very much. Yep, 13 people here, 17. And thank you for the share, Miss Southern Bell. And thank you for all the, the guys. Nice. Nope, that's no sorry, Richard. We're good. Um, everybody's good. I will be. You want to find me here? You know I talk garden in the morning and all kinds of stuff. But at night, 
I am saving it for this. I want to educate people on what I do and show you. Now, I, I would not risk doing I know people have crazy ideas and think, oh, this would be a good idea. There's lots of ideas that you shouldn't try that you think are great ideas. Well, I'm telling you, the, the horror stories that I heard about with butterflies. Do you know that my neighbor, uh, her her neat granddaughter raised, uh, I think last year, you know how much she raised? She says she thinks it had to be at least 100 to 500 of these butterflies she did last year. She did a lot. The, the bad thing was um, they left some in the garage and mice got in it and ate some of the caterpillars. So mice and different rodents got into the garage, ate half of the caterpillars. And uh, there's a lot to learn about this. So I would not take it on upon. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Um, yeah. And she's young. She's really cute. Yeah. She's very impressive, Richard. She's really cute. She's not even that old. She's, oh my God. I want to say, I don't know if she's 10. I don't know if she's 10, Richard. And she, she raised a whole bunch and I know she has, I've seen her with, with stuff. The thing is though, it was sad that they were left in a garage and um, if they're not protected, like I said, they'll be eaten. That's why I keep stressing. That's why there's not many out there because they got pesticides. They got people taking them off leaves and don't even realize it when they pull down the hole and kill off the whole milkweed because they don't know what a milkweed is. They've just killed off eggs and, and future butterflies. And it, the list goes on. And if, if you think about it, if these are on even a butterfly, even um, a bigger, um, uh, you can't see it here. No, it's not a butterfly yet. It, it's not a butterfly. It's a baby caterpillar. It starts out like that. I mean, you, there's no butterfly here. Not yet. It will become a butterfly. That's why if you see my title, you're going to see monarch, butterfly, caterpillar. And I think I put changing the milkweeds, which, which I did for this live stream. It's right there. That little teeny thing will become a monarch butterfly. But it's a process. Yeah. It's a process that I have to do. Uh, and I'm going to show you. Like yesterday when I first got it, it was half the size. Now it's twice the size. Yeah, I got bees in my chimney. They are in there for seven years. He's he's thirsty. No, he's comfortable. Actually, he's not eating at all. He's like sleeping right now. Look, he's not even moving. He's quite content. He's he's on his little thing. I don't see him much in a way, but as soon as and he's not uncomfortable because he's he if he didn't like me doing this, he'd be hiding. They hide under the leaves. They don't like it, but he's fine. Yeah, caterpillars will turn into butterflies. I wonder why. What, do you, what metamorphosis? What do you? Why do you wonder why? That's just the way God created them to be. That's what they they were created. That's God's creatures, and that's what they're supposed to do. Um, not necessarily. No, I had to. No, you normally have to. To you have to find the eggs first, and I'm, I wish I could show you an egg, but I didn't get any. So. Can you purchase them? Maybe, but I think most people are not going to sell them. They're going to raise them just to release them. Uh, I had a plum tree behind, and every year I have at least 20 to 50 of butterflies left off uh, and through that nice um, butterfly left off uh, through the nice view, if not count flies and wasps in there too. This little girl is going to break a lot of hearts. I can already tell. I'm guessing play some chomping and she will be super, super monarch. Maybe. Well, you, wait, you're going to, I'm telling you, you guys have seen it, but you will not believe, like I videotaped it stage by stage, but it's kind of cool seeing it live, like transforming right in front of your eyes. The stages I will show you as long as she stays alive. She has to stay alive, and this is a kind of a part where she could die at any point in time until until she gets to be a butterfly. And even at a butterfly stage, there could be something wrong. But uh, we have so many weeks to go through. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you can buy ladybugs from Amazon, but I don't believe you can buy these. People are are really shouldn't be selling them. Um, I didn't get. I didn't buy it. What happened was they told me if I bought milkweed, they were they had some already on it. So I went out of town to the, co the county, found it. We looked for it and um, 
found two. I don't know what happened to the other one. So yeah. Oh, you, you she'll be fine, right? All right, Minnie. Well, sleep well. Sure, Minnie. I'd love to have everybody younger and everybody all ages be uh, educated on this because I think people still don't know. And if you see it firsthand, it's going to be kind of cool. You have a great night. Sleep well. Like I said, I'm only here for about an hour. Um, I've got to go somewhere else if anybody wants to join me, but... Um, right now I'm going to just do an hour at a time and I'm going to try to come in at night, um, after I do all the garden stuff and show you how the baby's doing and then stay on for an hour and then I'm getting off and then same thing. We'll, uh, you will see it transform day by day what it looks like. Yes, absolutely. Rafael, I'm going to try to find this other one. There's, um. A caterpillar that it's not great for your garden, okay, but it doesn't mean it doesn't deserve a life. So there's one that that the swallowtail actually lives off of um, uh, parsley. So there's a couple that live off of lettuce and parsley. They're born right there, and that's what they have to live off. So a lot of people kill them off because they're eating. They can eat crazy among all your lettuce, and um, they turn into a bot. They turn into a swallowtail. So they're a butterfly, actually. But at the part where they're caterpillar, they're a pest. These ones aren't considered pests because they're not eating any of harmful to your garden. So uh, monarchs are kind of safe, but other butterflies aren't so safe. But there's a zillion of them. Uh, that's probably why people aren't overly protecting the other ones because there's a whole bunch of them. You just don't see monarchs very often, uh, really. And according to Drop, I'm going to check that out. I have never heard of a white monarch, but that sounds interesting. I have never heard of it. So I'm going to check it out if that exists or somebody want to check it out to just type in, does a white monarch butterfly exist? That would be cool to see because I have never heard of it. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist just because I didn't hear it, hear of it. But when he tells me there's a white monarch butterfly, I like to see if that exists. Uh, at night already here. So look at now it's moving again. Oh, it's hungry already. See, it's on the go. Look, I want you to take a picture of this. And if I come back tomorrow, look what it looks like. All the leaves. Okay. Look, there are two half, one big, huge leaf split in half. And it's on that little leaf eating it. Let's see how big the hole becomes tomorrow on those leaves. Let's see the changing from one 24 hour period. Wait until you see how much that thing eats. They eat like horses. I'd say we have her do some um, combat support so she can fight off the nasty people, my two cents. Wait. No comprehend. No comprehending? Richard, no comprehending. No compre, non comprendo. No, nope, you can't understand what he's saying, right? No comprendo. I have that a lot. Is that what I think? That's what he's saying. I, I don't think my voracious life says. I don't think Richard don't understand yet. But I think that's what you're saying, right? Oh, well, guys, it was lovely. Um, so you can say goodbye, Uncle Richard. But goodbye, Uncle Rafael. Goodbye, whoever's out here. I miss Southern Belle. Um, goodbye, Aunt Sheila. Yep, you have a good night, Sheila. Um... Lovely on my end. Goodbye, my voracious life. Uncle voracious life. I can't even say that. But anyways, um, I'm used to, I used to have plenty of 
Lepidoptero. Good night, guys. Oh, good night, my little maggot. <laughs> my poor little maggot. It's not a maggot. You better call it something else when it gets bigger. All right, guys. Thank you. That's my hand saying adios, guys. See you later. Bye. Have a good one.